Hello, my name is Amberly Snyder. Mm -hmm. I was born in Orange County, California, January 29, 1991. I'm the second oldest of six children. My career is barrel racing, and my um, hobby, one of my hobbies is motivational speaking. I attended Utah State University, graduated with a bachelor's degree, and graduated with a bachelor's degree. Um, I, um, one of my um, life events is when I wrecked my truck in 2010 and became paralyzed for life. Some of my interesting facts is that I have a, a career of uh, career barrel racing and I have a charity up for disabled people for young and old. I have a movie on Netflix called Walk Ride Rodeo and I thank God every day that I'm still here and I have a great family and friends. My name is Anna Trump. I was born on August 5th, 1930 in Wapakoneta, Ohio. My parents were Stephen and Viola. I had two siblings, Dean and June. I graduated with a degree in aeronautical engineering at Purdue University in 1955. I really loved planes. As a small child, I would throw wooden plane models out my window and watch them fly. I flew for the first time when I was six years old. I, at the age of 16, I got my piloting license. I started to work at NASA in 1962, helping, most of my career was helping Apollo, the creation of the Apollo 11 spacecraft. Later on flying that spacecraft to the moon, my accomplishments were helping NASA and the advancement of technology. I was also a veteran in the for the Korean War. My daughter Karen, my daughter Karen was my biggest accomplishment and my biggest fan. She passed away from a battle with cancer, but I always did everything I could to make her proud of me. My life was seen as determined and heroic. Hello, I am Emma Watson. I am an actor, activist, and a feminist. My biggest roles are Hermione in Harry Potter and Bella in the Beauty and the Beast. I was born on April 15, 1990. I was also born in Paris, France. I have a mom and dad, Jacqueline Lupsey and Chris Watson. Hi, 
am Nikolai Tesla. I invented the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil is the twisty thing in the light bulb. And I also invented the wireless telegram. The telegram might not seem like much now, but it paved the way for the phones everybody has in their pockets today. And I was friends and an employee of Thomas Edison until we got in a fight about which power is better. He had a lot of money involved in direct current, while I believe um, alternating current was the way of the future. I was born 1856 on January, and I died in a hotel where I lived for years. Now, alternating current and direct current are used all over the world. I am Stanley Liebworth. I was born on December 28th, 1922 in New York City. I am famous for making Marvel movies. My first job was at the newspaper store in 1933. I was, I've won rewards for how good I wrote. My greatest accomplishment was when I made my first Marvel series when I came back from in 1945 in some of the comic books I made it were Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Black Panther. Hi, my name is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. May, you may know me as ending the, ending the racial laws of, during the 30s and 40s. I was born January 15, 1929 in Atlanta. As a kid, I had, I had two siblings growing up, my oldest sister, Christine, and my younger brother, Alfred. Once I became an adult myself, my, I had four beautiful children, Yolanda King, Bernice King, Dexter King, and Martin Luther King III. My first job was being, was being a Baptist minister. minister. But before I became a Baptist minister, my father and grandfather were both Baptist ministers. And for that reason, I became a Baptist minister myself. My second, my second job was being the leader of the civil rights movement so black people can have free rights. During that time, I did not have many hobbies to do since I had to spend time working on the civil rights movement. But if you really want, you could call writing speeches a hobby. Since I talked about speeches, my biggest speech was the I Have a Dream speech where 250,000 people gathered to listen to what I had to say. My, one of my biggest accomplishments was winning the Nobel Peace Prize since I was a peaceful man I wanted for leading a peaceful protest. But sadly, I got assassinated by a na my man named James Earl Ray who assassinated me April 4th, 1968 at the Lorraine Motel in Tennessee. And and, and ever since, uh, people will sell, have honored me every January, uh, different times of each year. Hi, my name is Bob Sega. I was born in Philadelphia on May 17th, 1956. My early life, I would make all the girls laugh winning kisses from them. I wanted, intentionally, I wanted to go into medicine, but my grades sucked. It got even worse when I left to a different town. Then I went back to um, Temple of University with my Super 8 camera. And then I made the um, movie Through Adam's Eyes, which where a boy goes under a genetic effect. Then I made a lot of other movies. Then I got into Full House.
Hi, my name is Saka Jabia. I was born July 28, 1784. I was born in Idaho into the Lempai Shoshone tribe. My parents were Smoke Lodge and Otter Woman. I also had a brother named Kamui. I didn't go to school, but I was able to learn how to identify edible roots and how to make clothes out of animal hide. When I was 12 years old, I was captured by the Hidatsa tribe, then sold to Toussaint Charbonneau, who I eventually married. When I was 16 years old, my husband and I went on an expedition with Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to explore North America. I then had, then on February 8, oh my God, February 11th, 1805, had my first child, Jean Baptist. Then after the whole expedition, I had my second child, Lizette, where I then parted ways with my husband and went back to my tribe in Wyoming, where I then passed away at the age of 25 from something called putrid fever. William Clark then gained custody of my two children. Also, after I had passed away, I was put on the dollar coin. I had 16 statues made of me in many different places, as well as a river and a hotel. Hello, my name is Diane Sawyer. I'm, I am an American journalist. I was born December 22, 1945. My parents are Urban Powers and Jean W. <laughs> my mother was an elementary school teacher and my father was a U.S. Navy captain. I went to Seneca High School and Wellesley College. I got me my B.A. My, B, my BA award, known as the Bachelor's of Arts Award. And in high school, I became the editor-in-chief for the school's newspaper. My TV appearances were 2020 Primetime Live, ABC World News, and there's many more. And I also interviewed Jennifer and Jordan Turpin on their childhood experiences. I married director Mike Nichols, and sadly he died in 2014. And that's sadly when I quit doing journalism. Hello, I am Alexander Graham Bell, born March 3rd, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland. My parents are Alexander Melville Bell and Elisa Simmons. I also had two other siblings, <sighs> Edward Bell and Melville James Bell. They always helped me collect plants so I could study and analyze them. This is what got me interested in learning. I went to Royal High School for my education. I invented many inventions, such as the telephone, electrical problem, and the audiometer. I was also a teacher for deaf people. I taught them how to read, write, and speak up for themselves. This is what led to my invention of the audiometer. This gadget could detect hearing problems and is still used today. I enjoyed teaching deaf people because my own mother, Elisa Simmons, was nearly deaf when I was a teenager. So this is why I enjoy te teaching people with disabilities how to read, write, and speak for themselves. I also worked with Helen Keller, who grew up to be a book publisher and make, also made speeches. My, I had a family, my wife, Mabel Hubbard, and my two sons, Robert Bell and James Bell, and two daughters, Marion Bell and Lisa Bell. In fact, I met my wife because she was one of my students. Another accomplishment throughout my life was the electrical probe. This invention could send vibrations to the hand whoever was holding it if they were pointing it in a certain direction of where the metal was. This, this gadget almost saved President James A. Garfield's life. However, it did not because of the metal springs that were interfering with the invention. One of my greatest inventions of all time was a telephone. I had my own company called the Bell Telephone Company, where people could pay telephones to talk across a wire to other telephones. I was granted my patent on March 7th, 1876, and a few days later, I got the thing to work. The first ever conversation held on a telephone was, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. And this is why telephones have come so far today. I was born in Vienna, Austria in the year of 1914. I was wealthy and went to private schools until high school. I dropped out to pursue my dream of being an actress. I was I became famous in the year of 1933, and that's the most and that's the most that's the year my most popular film was released. Um, I love mechanics and I and I and I love mechanics and I love to invent things even since I was little. I met a guy named Jordan and Phil, and we love to invent things together. When, sorry. Um, um, we were in the crisis of World War II when 
when um, we were in the crisis of World War II, Nazis were sending radio control torpedoes towards around the globe. We decided to invent, invent radio frequency hopping to, set, to stop, from where, stop them from where they were coming to send them back to where they were sent off. After that, we decided to take, we decided to turn it into the government. When we turned it into the government, they said that it wasn't good enough and that we would just be more helpful if we were selling war bonds. So we decided to send $1 million, sell $1 million worth of war bonds. Then, we, then I continued to work on more inventions to help the war and work, kept releasing movies. Until the year of 1969, they found out that our invention was being used behind our back and they were never paid or given any credit for our invention. After, after that, after that, I was, I unfortunately died in the year of 19, I mean, I unfortunately died in the year of 2000 because, because of old age. People believe that because when I was, I was pretty and rich, I couldn't invent things, but I like to prove people wrong and their hate made me a better person. I'm sitting well, I was born on 1831. I had a mom, a dad, and a brother. My dad's name was Jumping Bull. My mother's name was Her Holy Door. My brothers were Spotted Elk. Once, one sunny morning on November 18th, 19, not, 1850, sorry, 1850, my dad asked me if I wanted to go hunting. I did. I had to think about that because I didn't really like killing animals. And I, and I said yes. When we went out hunting, we had we ran into a herd of buffalo. After that, they told me to stay there, so I stood there and waited. And a couple minutes after, the the herd started for me. Everybody was screaming, "Shoot, shoot!" So I shot. I didn't know if I killed it yet, but I went over there. It was dead. And when we and when we went back to camp, I gave it to a poor family that needed it. I'm George Washington Carter. I was born on December 30th in 1989, and I did not know my family because the only time I was with them was when I was, was when I was a baby. The reason was because they were taken into slavery, but their names were James Carter, my brother, my mo my dad was Gills Carter, and my mother was Mary Carter. I also love plant life, which was my favorite hobby hobby during my life. I invented lots of things like peanut butter, cotton. And I also figured out that plants could help people people breathe very well. It made people very happy, and it, it helped me with my studies. I also I also had other hobbies like studying, building, and inventing. I I helped Gan Mahatma Gandhi in his judgmental trials. I also invented things. I invented things, and I made things. I. I, I made cotton for a living for people's clothes so they could use clothes, black people's clothes. I made over 100,000 households for black people who didn't have houses and I made over and I made some of my own houses that were made out of moss, uh, wood, brick, and sometimes wet dried sand. Hi, my name is Jimmy Donaldson, but most people know me as Mr. Beast. I was born in 1999 in North Carolina. My family consists of my, bro my brother CJ, my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend Maddie Spadell. I, uh, I graduated from Greenville Christian Academy and briefly attended East Carolina University for dropping apps. I led Team Trees and Team Seas. Team Trees is where I planted 22 million trees. Team Seas is where I took 100,000 pounds of trash out of the ocean. I also gave $1 million worth of food to food banks. I am also a YouTuber. My cha some of my channels are Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming, Beast Reacts, and Beast Shorts. One of my f most favorite fa famous YouTube videos is Good games in real life. One of my series is Last to Weave, The Shape. The shape can differ between a circle, square, and triangle. Another of my series is uh, whatever you can fit in a shape, I will uh, buy for you. Again, the shape may differ between videos. Um, 
one of my most recent videos is for use when with, sh for sh with sharks worth $100,000. Another one of my videos is where the military hunted me and if they caught me, they got $10,000. My most recent video is every day you survive in prison, you get $10,000. I am Betsy Ross. I am known for making the first American flag. I am a determined person with a creative mind. I had a normal life, but it ended with a moment to rem be remembered. I was born on January 1st, 1752. I was the eighth of 17 children. My birth parents were Samuel Griscom and Rebecca James. I was born in Gloucester City, New Jersey. I was a great granddaughter of a carpenter that immigrated from England to New Jersey. When I was just three, my family moved from New Jersey to Pennsylvania. When I was old enough to go to school, I went to a Quaker school, a type of religious school where they just taught normal subjects that schools teach today, like reading, writing, and math. After school each day, my sisters and I went to a place where we learned to sew and do other common crafts in our day. When I was 17, I finished my schooling. My dad got me a job as an apprentice for John Webster, a local upholsterer. There I made tablecloths, bed curtains, bed sheets, and other things like that. I left my family at 21 for another apprentice, John Moss. Together we made a flag making business. Shortly thereafter, I had a meeting with George Washington about the first American flag. Shortly after that meeting, I made the first American flag. I died on January 30th, 1875. I was awarded two awards for my service in my community. I am Jane Goodall. I was born 1934 in London into a middle class British family in London, England. I have a mom, a dad, and a sister. When I was younger, I, w I was in a private school. When I was older, I went to Cambridge University. I got many degrees there, and at age 26, I was the first person to ever go into the forest and investigate chimps. I saw weird, beha I saw weird behaviors like the chimps were eating meat and using tools like people. When I, when I was staying there, I got closer and closer to the chips to see how they reacted to me. They were scared of me at first, but then they got, but then they were calm around me. So I gave them food and they were fight, they were, after months, they were aggressive over the food and they started fighting over it. So I gave, so I, so I made big metal boxes and they were 40 pounds and they had to open the big metal box for them to fight for their food, to get the food out of the box. A couple years later, a man came to Tanzania to take photos of the chimpanzees and me and him worked together for a long time. So then a couple years later, me and him married and we had a son named Eric. He had a nickname and his nickname was Grub. He did not like the chimps, but I loved the chimps and I loved him. A couple of years later, me and my husband had to break up because he had to work in Africa and I still had to work in Tanzania. After year, years later, my son Eric had to go to school, so I traveled. I didn't want to end my career, so I traveled back and forth to school in Tanzania. And now I have a book. I am a novelist, and I have one of the best USA books. And I am an advocate for people and animals. And I travel around the world to give speeches about animal and people rights. <coughs> I am the 26th president of the United States of America and the, and the inspiration for the teddy bear. I am an American politician leader, naturalist, and a conservationist, or no, a conservationist and a writer. I also loved hunting, hunting, fishing, skinny dipping, polo, hiking, biking, and boxing. My rewards were, uh, oh, wait, are 
the Medal of Honor and the Nobel Peace Prize. I won the Medal of Honor for my actions on June uh, June first, eighteen eighty nine, on on Kettle Hill and San Juan Heights. I won the Nobel Peace Prize for keeping peace between Japan and Russia. At age, at age 60, 1919, I died in my sleeve. Yeah, wait. Oh, I am also the only first American to have the Medal of Honor and the Nobel Peace Prize.
I am a Louis, I will be remembered because I am a funny, kind, caring, and warm-hearted person that stands up for good causes. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of America and helped free all black slaves and made slavery, slavery illegal. He was also the first president with an invention. His birthday was February 12th, 1809. His mother, Nancy Lincoln, died when he was nine. He had a father, Thomas Lincoln, and a sister, Sarah Lincoln. He only went to one school when he was younger, which was an ABC school, and where he just learned the basic alphabet. He also used to be a real wrestler, wrestler but he had no mask nor manager. He eventually, oh, he also reached six feet tall at a very early age. He eventually dated and married Mary Todd and had three kids with her, Robert, Tad, and Willie Lincoln. Robert, or no, Tad died to typhoid when he was six. He eventually, ran, or no, he had 18 months of formal law school and eventually ran for Illinois legislature two times and won the second time. After that, he ran for president. And since there were two Democratic votes, or two Democratic candidates, he won. During his time in pres as a president, he fought in a civil war against the South or the Union and free, helped free the slaves and made slavery be illegal. After that, after the war, he went to a play on a Good Friday and was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth and died April 15, 1865. discovered that the planets in our solar system revolve around the sun, Jupiter's four biggest moons, and the rings of Saturn. I invented the thermometer, the microscope, and the scale. My inventions have helped the world in many ways. Albert Einstein proved my theories correct because I could not do it because I didn't have the technology to do so, earning me the title of science of modern science or astronomy. With all these special things and impacts I've had on the earth that has explored my life. I was born on February 16th in 1564 in Pisa, Italy. I wasn't in Pisa long though. I moved to Florence soon after. I originally wanted to be a monk, which my father strongly disapproved of. I later went to the to college to study medicine. I did not like that, so I dropped out. Later, I was offered to be a professor of math at the University of Pisa. After I was done teaching, I found an interest in space. I was 60 when I found out that the planets in our solar system revolve around the sun, the <laughs> rings of Saturn, and the four biggest moons of Jupiter. I later died at the age of 77 due to heart failure and a fever. Okay. Hi, I'm Jackie Robinson. I was born in Carroll, Georgia on January 31st, 1919. I'm the youngest of five. My mom was my biggest fan. My dad left my mom when I was just little. 
had a good grandpa, but sadly he was asleep. My grandma died when I was six years old. I was always good in school. When my high school came around, I got into John Murray High School. Back then, black people were not treated the same. They had separate drinking problems. School was back in the June name. The white people treated me and all the other black people extremely bad until I wanted to play baseball. I was on, I, 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 when I, I was on, until I wanted to play baseball. They said no at first, I was so mad, so I kept trying. They finally let me play baseball. I was on the Brooklyn Dodgers. I was, I was the first black person to ever play baseball. I even broke the color banner. The first couple of my games, my teammates made fun of me. Not because I was bad, it was because I was black. I had no fans. Then they realized that I was the same, and I gained a lot more fans more and more. I didn't just play baseball. I played basketball, track, football, tennis, and soccer. I went to the Army for two years. I played our all-black baseball team there, too. I died on October 24, 1972, from a heart attack. I'm Clint Anderson. I'm a retired NFL safety and an assistant special teams coach for the Cincinnati Bengals. I was born on October 25th, 1985 in Butte, Montana. My parents are Mike and Michelle Anderson. Growing up, I was bigger than everyone else, so I played online up until middle school when I started playing running back and safety. I have three siblings, Bo, Luke, and Brianna, and three uncles who played college football. One plays quarterback at MSU, Barry Sullivan. One played wide receiver at U of N, Pat Sullivan. And Jim Anderson, who played safety at MSU. Going into high school, I still played running back and safety. Football wasn't the only sport I played. I played basketball, baseball, and ran track. After graduating high school, I went on and attended the University of Montana Grizzlies. In 2005, I saw action in five games on special teams but suffered a broken thumb against, after making a tackle <coughs> against Oregon. In 2008, I served as, team's, served as the team captain. I recorded 129 tackles, 60, including 64 solo, 6.5 for loss, one sack, three interceptions returning for 80 yards, uh, six broken up passes, two fumble recoveries, and one forced fumble. That season, the Grizzlies advanced to the national championship game before falling to Richmond 24-7. I was selected, selected as a Buck Lieutenant Award candidate. The conference named me Big, All Big Sky Player of the Year for the third time. The CBS, <coughs> the CBS affiliated NFL draft scout assessed that I was a 13th ranked of the 106 free safeties available for the NFL draft. I was a potential seventh round pick. I was not selected. I, I reported that shortly after, 10 teams pursued me, and, I, and the Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings signed me as an undrafted free agent. I just felt Minnesota was the best place for me to go. They said I could have an impact for them. After, so shortly after signing with the Vikings, I was signed to the Philadelphia Eagles roster. Despite playing at a Pro Bowl level, I suffered a torn interior cruciate ligament, my ACL, in a game against the Seattle Seahawks. This leading to my placement on injured reserve on December 5th. I was placed on the pup list, physically unable to perform for the start of training camp in, on July 22nd, 2012. I started the Dream Big Foundation so kids can have experiences what can experience what they what life's going to be growing up. Dream Big is a nonprofit organization organization dedicated to create positive change for Montana children. The Dream Big uh, Dream Big provides resources, innovative opportunities to empower Montana children to dream big and succeed.
I am Amelia Earhart. You may know me as the first woman to fly, across, fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. I was born to Amy and Samuel Earhart on July 24, 1897. I have one sister, Grace Earhart. My grandparents are Alfred and Amelia Otis. When I, when I was 12, I started to live with them during the school year and with my parents back in Kansas during the summer. When I was little, my nickname was Millie. That is what my dad called me. I set many flying records. I was the 16th woman to earn my pilot's license. On my birthday, people celebrate National Amelia Earhart. During World War I, I served as a Red Cross nurse's aide in Canada. I'm Kobe Bryant. I was born August 23, 1978 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I first found my love for basketball when I was just three years old from watching my father play in the NBA. When I was just six, me and my family moved to Ryuji, Italy. While I was in Ryuji, I would go over to the USA in summers to compete in a summer basketball league. My father is Joe Bryant and my mother is Pam Bryant. I have two sisters, Shea and Sharia. When I was 13, I moved back to the USA where I later attended Lower Marion High School. I had a very successful high school career and I started, I was the first player in decades to start as a freshman on varsity. I also led my high school to the first one in 53 years. After high school, however, I decided to skip college and declared for the 1996 NBA draft. I was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets in 1996, but was later traded to the Los Angeles Lakers before ever playing with the Hornets. I won. I had 18 All-Star appearances, won one MVP, won five Finals, won two Finals MVP, and I was. And I was, I was, I was elected into the 2021 NBA Hall of Fame. I married my wife Vanessa on, on April 18, 2001, and we had four kids: Gianna, Natalia, Capri, and Bianca. Sadly, on January 26, 2020, me, Gianna, and seven others died in a helicopter crash on our way to our game, on our way to her game. I was born May 2nd, 1972 in Hayward, California. I have two siblings, Curtis Bowles and Lana Bowles. My parents are Rocky Johnson and Ada Johnson. As a young teen, I attended Freedom High School and the University of Miami. As I attended the university, I played football there. During my junior year, I was hurt in a, track, in a tackling drill, so I had to sit out. In that time that I was out, I worked to bring up my grades. In my senior year, I wanted to play in the NFL. I was waiting for an offer, but I didn't get my offer, so I went to play in the CFL, the Canadian Football League. As my career didn't last long in the Canadian Football League, so I asked my dad to show me how to, to teach me how to wrestle. He so he did. As I learned how to, I got to debut in 1995 in Madison Square Garden as the Rock. As I and my wrestling career went on, I went on to win events like the Royal Rumble and titles such as the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship. As I was doing that, I got older and started to get weaker in wrestling. So I went on to help with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and start my own charity called the Ring Rock Johnson Foundation, where I help kids in need. And now I'm one of the bit, now I'm one of the highest paid actors in the country. Hello, <clears throat> I'm Bethany Hamilton. People ask me if I could go back and change what happened to me. Would I? My answer to that is no, I wouldn't. Because if I did, I wouldn't get the chance to help or inspire as many people as I do today. My full name is Bethany Maloney Hamilton. I was born on February 8th, 1990. My parents are Tom and Sherry Hamilton. I have two brothers. No, I'm Tim Hamilton. My best friend's name is Alana Blanchard. Um, we've been surfing together since we were five. I love to surf. I surf every day. 
24 hours. I have a lot of surfing wars and just wars in general. In general, my most important <clears throat> award is a Nobel Prize award. I also won best surfer in my age group at eight. I lost my arm 13. You may ask how I make the world a better place. Well, every week I go to my local hospital and I talk to the amputees because I know how it feels to lose a limb. And we find new and fun activities to do um, without their arm or leg. My name is Selena Quintanilla. I was born on April 16, 1976 uh, in Lake Jackson, Texas. I have two siblings, Avery Quintanilla and Suzette Quintanilla. My parents are Abraham and Suzette Quintanilla. I went to Orhan M. Roberts Elementary School. And for junior high, I went to West Oso Junior High School. For college, I graduated in 1989 at uh, Pacific, Pacific Western University. Uh, other than education and little training, my dad loved music. He wanted us to love music as well. In order to do that, he would make me and my siblings practice two hours a day. I sang, my brother played the guitar, and my sister played the drums. Once my dad heard me sing, he knew from that moment I was going to be a star. I started singing in restaurants, and it took me places. I won 67 awards and 36 Tango Music Awards. <sighs> important events in my life. For example, in 1992, I married Chris Perez. Chris Perez in 1994, when my first Grammy in 1996, I sadly died by Yolanda Salvador. Me and her were good friends, and there had and there had recently a conflict in the money situation with the business. Money was missing, and we all knew it was Yolanda. Yolanda kept denying it over and over and over again, but I knew I had to confront her somehow. Yolanda was scared, and she didn't want to go to jail, so she shot me twice in the back. I died, and then and then um, I died, but I am I was proud of who I was and how many people looked up to me for a strong person I was. The end. Hi, my name is Bruce Lee. I was born on November 27, 1940. I was born in San Francisco, United States of America. You may know me because of the movies I was in or because of my fast moving speed. One of my nicknames is Little Dragon. My home is in China and the name of my hometown is Hong Kong. My parents called me Mo Sing Ting because of when I was young, which means never sit still. When I was young, I was in 20 films as a kid. My name in Chinese is Ju Fan. I was born in the year of the dragon. That is where I got my nickname, Little Dragon. When I was young, I was homeschooled for a little while. After I went, that, I went to real school and the name of my, real, the, my school was Tok San School. And I got into lots of fights. I also had a little gang called the Tigers. When I moved on to middle school, I didn't get as well as fights as I did. Well, I opened a martial art dojo called Jeet Kune Do. At first, not a lot of people signed up for it, but after a while, people started signing up. Then my dojo became extremely popular. Everybody wanted to be in my dojo. My dojo is still open to this day. I have a son. I have a son and a daughter. My son is an actor like me, and my daughter has a son now. My son's name is Brandon Lee. He he has he is in a couple of movies now. My daughter's name is Shannon Lee. She's married, and so is my son. My wife's name is Linda Lee. I'm a happy man, but unfortunately, I died in July twentieth, nineteen seventy three. African-American to play Major League Baseball in the modern area. I went to UCLA to play baseball. I received many awards. I received Rookie of the Year and LMVP. I was in the all-star election and I was a World Series champion in 1955. I hit my first home run when I played for the Major League team, the Montreal Royals. I won 
in the World Series in 1955. I was an African-American baseball player to be elected in the Baseball Hall of Fame. I used my league as a star athlete to gain support for the civil rights movement. Breaking the color barrier, transforming the face of sports, my work as who stop segregation and making the country the best it could be. Following my retirement from baseball in 1957, I often appear with Martin Luther King at rallies, fundraising events, and um, nations. Okay, I'm done. I'm Bill Gates. I was born October 28th, 1955. My parents, Mary Maxwell and Bill Gates, senior treated me well. And we, and I observed them as they went to a law career. We went to church very often, and when I was in school, I was bullied because I was smaller than all the other kids. I went to Lakeside School and worked with computers and was taught the regular subjects. When I went to Harvard, I, I was taught the regular courses. When I got older, me and a friend and created a company called Microsoft and I became one of the wealthiest men in the world. I, I had many awards such as the Silver Buffalo Award, the Presidential Medal of Honor, and the Bauer Award for Business Leadership. And in 1987, I was included in Forbes list of the world's wealthiest people, and in and I was the wealthiest from 1995 to 2007, and then again from 2009 to 2014. Hello, my name is Betty White. I was born on January 17, 1922, to the parents of Horace and Tess White. I moved to Los Angeles when I was only two years old, and from there on went to Horace Mann Elementary School. I did many plays in elementary school and enjoyed it very much. I love to perform and make people smile. After elementary school, I went to Beverly Hills High School where I developed many acting skills. I graduated high school in 1939 and soon decided that I wanted to be an actor when I grew up. I Later on in 1963, I married Alan Ludden and off, and I met him off of a game show and he was the host. I, I was married to Alan for 18 years and was blessed with three stepchildren, Martha, David, and Sarah Ludd. Unfortunately, Alan passed away on June 9th, 1981 due to, natural, due, due to cancer and will be missed. I started my career by getting on commercials and radio shows. I eventually got very famous and started my own radio daily talk show called The Betty White Show. After after that, I did a sitcom called Life with Elizabeth, and eventually I got on a TV series called Golden Girls, and I did that for seven years. After getting famous, I won many awards, and some of them were two Emmy Awards for Great Host, and I won, and I was nominated Best Actor in the TV series. I sadly passed away on December 31st, 2021, due to natural causes. I was almost 100 years old. I was a great actor, wife, daughter, and person. Hello, I'm Mahatma Gandhi. I live in Porbender, India with all my family and my friends. I am a vegan and a lawyer, and I took after my father's job, dream job of being a lawyer. I am also known for freeing India from being under Great Britain's rule. 
but <laughs> I was born on October 2nd, 18, 1896, and I was born into a house of five children. My, my, my mother's name is Kasturba Gandhi, and my father's name is Karmachan Gandhi. It, life was tough back then, but I still made it count. When I was when I when I was 13 years old, I, I married my first my first and only wife, Kasturba Gandhi. Kasturba Gandhi. And then around the age of 14 years old, we had four children: Manalal, Ramdas. old I went to I went to England to study law after four years of studying law there I finally came home my father died sh soon shortly after I got home and I was in grief but then I found out that that Brit that the UK was ordering India to go to war with them I did not participate in this war instead we boycotted and and we did not fight. We did not use violence, and we were put in jail many times. But but we still got freedom over our country. Later, I won a Nobel Peace Prize. And then after I got my Nobel Peace Prize, I was assassinated on January 30th in 1948. Charles Darn. I was a British geologist, naturalist, biologist who changed the way people think. I was born February 12, 1809 in a village called Shrewsbury, England. My mother was Susanna Darwin and my father was Robert Darwin. My mother died when I was only eight. I went to Shrewsbury school and I liked chemistry, biology, botany, and geology as a teenager. I went to medical school but I dropped out because I got bored. After that, I went to Cambridge University to be a priest. Finally, I graduated college with a, ma with a bachelor's of art degree. I took a five-year voyage around the world to study wildlife and plants. I wrote many books and won many awards for my contributions to science. I developed the theory of evolution and natural selection. Because of my accomplishments, I had over 120 species named after me in many places too. My name is Socrates. I'm a Greek philosopher. I was born in 470 BCE and I died in 399 BCE. I was 71 years old when I died. I was born in ancient Athens in the Golden Age. My mom's name is Phineriti and my father's name is Sophroniscus. I was most likely an only child. My father was a stonemason and my mother was a hardworking wife. When I was young, I focused on music, grammar, and gymnastics for my education. I also came from a relatively poor family. My job was creating philosophy. I also followed my father's profession as a sculptor. I was one of the greatest philosophers. I helped shape most philosophy. I also laid fundamentals on Western philosophy. I participated in three military campaigns. I was in an international feature film, and I also gave incredibly good teaching. Some of my techniques involved teaching involved questioning techniques to make people think more and justice and courage. I cause a change in Western philosophy. I also predict results for a greater well-being. I also created the theory of soul and its virtue. I used the reasoning of the service of virtue. I was remembered because of my philosophy skills and how I contributed to society. In conclusion, I was one of the best philosophers in all of history. I was very inspired by my father and I was a highly creative man. Then I got executed on 399 BCE to end my story. I am Thomas Alva Edison. I am one of the most influential inventors of the 19th century. I invented things such as the Edison light bulb, the phonograph, and the movie camera. Just because I invented the light bulb does not mean I did good in school. I ended up dropping out just after two, 12 weeks. The impact I had on the world is still seen today. ceremony. 
Hi, my name is Angeline Fleming, otherwise known as Rosie the Riveter. I was born March 8th, 1915 in Shepherdstown, Jefferson, West Virginia. My parents are Phil Philip Fleming and Anne Sophie Fry. When I was born, they were both 42. I keep most of my childhood private, but one thing is that we were poor, but my parents told me to still be proud. When I was young, school only went up to the last year of high school. There was no college. When I was in high school, I took a nine-month course to teach. After I got my certificate, I taught for a year, and I taught 11th grade. When I was 16, my dad did not believe in young women getting high school diplomas. At that time, World War II was going on, and I ended up moving to Detroit with my brothers. While I was there, I got a job as a riveter at the Ford Motor Company. While I was working, I realized no other women were working. I asked my manager about it, and he said women were only working from home. I decided to speak about up about it, and later I got the name Rosie the Riveter. That inspired J. Howard Miller to make the iconic We Can Do a poster. A couple years, a couple years later, I married George Wolfe in Freeport, Stephenson, Illinois, United States. I had five sons and one daughter, and I passed away January 4th, 1973, at the age of 58 in Illinois. Sally Ride is known for being the first American woman astronaut to go to space and the youngest American to go to space. Sally Ride was born on May 26, 1951, and died on July 23rd, uh, 2012. She was born in Los Angeles, and she grew up in Antonio, and she died in Algeria, California. Um, she went to Los Angeles Prep School in Portola Junior High when she was younger. She went to Stanford University, where she had two degrees and a major in physics and English. Her, fam her family consisted in her dad, Dale. He was a politi political science professor. Her mom, Carol, was a volunteered at a prison for women and her sister carol was a presbyterian minister um she worked with nasa for nine years she trained for five and she retired after nine years her favorite hobbies were science math um football and tennis Hi, I'm Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm the second woman on the Supreme Court. I was born. Hi, I'm Milton Hershey, known as the King of Chocolate. Before I was called the King of Chocolate, I was born in, on September 13th, 1857. My mom's name was Veronica Fanny Hershey, and my dad's name was Henry Hershey. And yet, yeah, we, we know. We lived in. in uh, we lived on a farm in Dairy Township, Pennsylvania, and the farm was called Nine Points. The, and yes, I did have a sister named Serena Hershey. She died, and then she died of scarlet fever on her fifth birthday. My mom was mad, but for some reason, mom could not get a divorce, so we split up. I was with my mom while dad moved to Colorado. And yes, I did go to school at the age of 14. At the age of 14, I dropped out. My mom did not care. She, was, she said, you're, you've grown up and you're 14. It is time for you to get a real job. So I found a job as a printer. I did not like that job. When the printer stopped working, I decided to quit the job. Then as usual, then, um, then I got a job at Royer's Ice Cream Garden. Four years went by. I asked my aunt if I could borrow 100. $50. She asked why and I said to build a candy shop and she said okay. I then I built the, so I built the candy shop at the heart of Philadelphia. I was 19 though. I was I had to close the candy shop. Then I headed home. I might go home after that. Then I got a drive at a candy company. They sold this candy called Caramel. And I tried to do that, that failed me. Then I built a Lancaster Caramel Company. They, and then I married Kathy Swaney. And then um, I built, then I sold the Lancaster Caramel Company for a million dollars. Then I built the town of Hershey and then I built the town of then I built the Hershey factory which you now know that they now sold 
sells um, Reese's, Twix, Icebreakers, and they still make this. And then I invented the milk chocolate. Then my wife died in 1915. Then I died in 1945 in the hospital bed. Hello, my name is Christopher Columbus. I was born October 31st, 1451 in Dion, Italy and died uh, May 20th, 1506. When I was younger, I didn't go to school because there was no school when I was little. So for my education, I worked at a little cheese shop on the corner of town. <clears throat> I had three siblings and two parents named Nico Columbus and Susan Columbus. As I was growing up, I started to learn about ships and distinct parts of land. By the time I was old enough to sail the ocean blue, I did. I went on many journeys but one of my biggest ones was when I discovered the east side of America. And I have three different ships named the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. One day, I decided to go sailing on the Santa Maria until I hit a coral reef which caused it to sink to the bottom of the ocean. <clears throat> Luckily, I was okay. I swam to a little island and waited for the Pinta to pick me up and bring me back to Spain where I would spend the rest of my life. I'm the firstborn of James McCauley and Leona Edwards. I have a little brother named Sylvester. My mom was a teacher and my dad was a carpenter. They divorced when I was two and a half. My mom homeschooled me until I was 11 years old. When I turned 19, I married a man named Raymond Parks. Then one day when I was coming home from work on the bus, I refused to stand up for a white man just because I was black. Then I got arrested. Then Martin Luther King Jr. got me out of jail and we started the bus boycott to stop segregation. After we stopped segregation, I died in my apartment in my sleep from natural causes. Hi, I am Robert Marley. Most people know me as Bob Marley. I was born on February 6, 1945. My dad wasn't around much when I was first born. It was just my mom and my grand grandparents. My mom's name was Cedell Booker, and my dad's name was Norval Booker. My grandpa's name was Omeria Malcolm, and my grandma's name was Ellen Brookfield. I went to Stephanie Primary Junior High School and I dropped out when I was 14. And then I started working as a welder and then I got a piece of metal in my eye so I quit that. And then I started singing. And then me and my friend one day were playing on the side of the street and then someone asked us if we wanted to make an album. So we said yes and then we started practicing with them. And then after we recorded it, it was on the world's, or on the world's best reggae um, music station and then in 1978 I received the um, the peace um, of the third world and in 1994 I, I was put in the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then I sadly passed away in May 11th, 1981. Hi, I'm Dolly Rebecca Parton. I I was born in, on January 19th, 1946. I was born in Locust Ridge, Tennessee. My parents are Robert Lee Parton and Abby Lee Holmes. I have 11 siblings, four sisters, seven brothers. I I'm the fourth child out of 12. I got my first guitar when I was 10. I, I signed my first record company in 1965. I first discovered music from my family when I was younger and I that's when I first heard music. I, my hobbies are cooking and I sometimes sing and I write songs I have my imagination library I work on a lot. Hi, I'm Ashley Fiola. I was born on October 22nd, 1990. I, I, I have a father named Jim, a mother named Ronnie, and a wife named Lindsay. Later on, I moved to Florida so I could attend the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind. 
My biggest life event is when I found out I was deaf. I was around three years old when I found out. I was the first deaf professional racer on the women's circuit, the first deaf, the first deaf national winner, and the first deaf person to participate in the WMX national championship. I also have my very own women's MX school. Lindsay is deaf. Uh, I got married December 5th, 2020. Lindsay is deaf also, so we get along great. I also have my very own book called Kicking Up Dirt. It's about me and my life with dirt bikes. I love helping out and having fun. Hi, I'm JK Rowling. You may know me as the British author who wrote the Harry Potter. Potter books. My birthday is on July 31st, 1965, and my birthplace is Yate United Kingdom, and I have one sibling named Diana Rowan. She is 54 years old, and her birthday is on June 18th, 1965, and I have, and I went to Wheaton. <coughs> I have several jobs, but my favorite job is working as a secretary, which is a decent job. Some of my hobbies are cooking, baking, and writing, but when I was one, when I was little I got teased and called Rolling Pin and but that did not stop me from going after my dream of being a writer. I also have donated to a charity called Children's in Need and I have won thirty seven awards in total. I have two dogs named Butch and Sapphire and I I have three kids named Jessica who is the oldest, Mackenzie who is the middle child, and David who is the youngest. You may know me as the first woman drafted into the NBA team. I was born on February 10th, 1955 in Mitchell City, Mississippi. I have 11 siblings. My parents are Ethel and Lily Harris. I went to high school at Amanda L.D. High School in Greenwood, Mississippi. I also attended Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. I went back to De Delta State University in 1984 to get my master's degree in education. I contributed to society by my contributions and achievements and contributions to Delta State University. I had many achievements, such as the first black woman introduced in the Basketball Hall of Fame. I also scored the first points in the first ever Olympic women's basketball game. I am a leader by being a, a woman drafted into the NBA, also by being a woman basketball player and paving the path for further basketball women basketball players. My name is Lucia Harris, and this is how I need to change. Hi, I am Missy Copeland. You may know me as the first African-American female principal dancer at <coughs> American Ballet Theater. I am, I was born in Kansas City, Missouri on September 10, 1992. I have three brothers and two sisters named Christopher, Douglas Jr., Cameron, Erica, and Lindsay. I moved from Kansas City to San Pedro, California, where I continued to study at Lauritsen Ballet Center in Torrance, California, while I attended, while I attended San Pedro High School. I I moved back with my family and studied at Lordson Valley Center full time. I in 2014 I was awarded a Dance Magazine Award and I was named the 2015 Time 100. I am a author of a couple books talking about my life, Bunheads, Life in Motion, Firebird, and A Ballerina's Body. I was, I, I was awarded the Shorty Award for Best in Dance and the Glamour Award for The Showstopper. And when I was 15, I won first place in the Music Center Spotlight Awards. And in 2014, I, Mr. Ob President Obama appointed me into the Boys and Girls Club and the Alumni Hall of Fame. I, I was the president of the President's Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. Hi, I'm Jeanette Pickering-Rankin. I was born June 11, 
1880. I died May 18, 1973, at 93 years old. I was born near Missoula, Montana. I was the eldest of seven, being Wellington, Felina, Grace, Mary, Harriet, and Edna. My mother was Olive Pickering Rankin, and my father was John Rankin. I was born, I, I lived on a small farm with my family. I went to Montana State University and Washington State University. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in 1902. I graduated high school in 1898. My earlier education is unknown. I was elected to Congress in 1916 and became the first ever woman senator. I was elected again in 1940. During that time, I introduced the 19th Constitutional Amendment. Hello, I'm Queen Elizabeth. I was born on April 21st, 1926 in London, the United Kingdom. And my father and mother died. My father, George V, died died February 6, 1952, and my mother, Queen Elizabeth, died December 11th, December 11th, 1936. <coughs> I have a sister, Margaret. I, I have a sister, Margaret. I was homeschooled when I was seven. I could read and write French, dance, and play the piano. I love scrambled eggs and chocolate cake. I have three hobbies, pigeon racing, stamp collecting, and gardening. My career is to be the the head of the Commonwealth realm on June June 2nd, 1953, I witnessed it all from World War II, decolonization in Africa, the cu Cuban Missile, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the Cold War. I gave you a bird's eye view of my major accomplishments. Hi, I'm, I'm Walter E. Ila E. Lies Disney, for, for, uh, formerly known as Walt D D Disney. I'm a famous drawer, and I, I'm also in in an entrepreneur, but not a lot of of, pe of people that know that. I I was born December fifteenth, nineteen oh oh one. I was born in in Chicago. Uh, 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 Illinois. I had two two children and nine grand grandchildren. I went to four schools when when I was a child. I was also once paid to draw a horse of a of a of a retired doctor. I made a a mouse named Mickey Mouse. I was thinking of of naming him Mortimer, but my wife Lillian said I should name him Mickey because Mortimer was boring. So, so I named him Mickey, like like my my wife said. I made fun fun attractions for both kids to to enjoy. I made films, and I also made two theme parks, both named Disneyland and Disney World. Disneyland was the first theme park I've made, and then a a a a few years after I died, my workers made Disney World like I wanted. I won I won five awards for 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 the work that I did. I won the the the, the Golden Globe Award, the the, the Grammy Award. The the Academy Award, the the Guinness World Re Re Record Award, and the Annie Award. I I contributed my life to making things that made people happy and have more things to to enjoy. I had an 
exceedingly long, ha ha happy life, but unfortunately I died in 1966 at the age of 65 year years old. And I'm glad I made people happy with my work and, and I, I know people will, will remember me for my work and my two uh, uh, amazing theme parks. Hi, my name is Clara Barton. I was born on December 25th, 1821 in North Oxford, Massachusetts. I grew up on a small farm with my family. In my family, I had two brothers, two sisters, and my parents, who were Stephen and Sarah Barton. I went to Colonel Richard School as a kid and did very well there. Then when I was older, I went to Clinton Liberal Institute in New York for higher education, and I only went there for a year. Before going to New York, I was a teacher for 12 years. Then, after going to New York, I nursed during the Civil War, saved many lives, and got the title Angel of the Battlefield for how many lives I saved. Then I became co-founder of the American Red Cross Association. During my free time, I read and wrote books about the Red Cross Association and about my childhood. I was president of the American Red Cross Association for 22 years until I was too weak and could no longer run the business. I then moved back to Maryland and lived in a house I built a few years before. And then I died in April 12, 1912, at the age of 90 from pneumonia.